Taste of the Town on CBS News Miami is sponsored by Goya. If it's Goya, it has to be good. Visit Goya.com today. All right, it is Friday. You know what that means. Time for an all new edition of Taste of the Town. So, Santiago's Bodega is a popular Key West hotspot. Recently, though, it opened its second location in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, the man who founded the brand sold everything that he had more than 20 years ago to make his dream a reality. As CBS News Miami's Lisa Petrillo reports, Santiago's Bodega was inspired by a character in Ernest Hemingway's Old Man of the Sea. It's quirky, cool, fun, and delicious at Santiago's Bodega in Fort Lauderdale, the newest location for the brand that began 20 years ago in Key West when owner Jason Dugan from Kansas City decided to pack up a move to the southernmost city in the U.S. I scraped up all of my money. The artist, Robert Henry Thompson, rode down with us. Uh, we just went down, didn't have anything to lose, you know, and, and uh, just made it happen. The name was inspired by a famous Key West love and author, Santiago was the character in two books that happened to be on my end table. One, one was The Old Man in the Sea, and I was like, instantly, it's like, Santiago, is that, that works? And then the other one was the book The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, and the boy is seeking to turn lead into gold, which is the way I kind of felt like I was doing in Key West. The tables and bar and signs were built by Jason's dad using reclaimed wood. His late friend Robert Henry Thompson created every single painting in both restaurants before he passed away a few years ago. And they all sort of have a loose story of old man Santiago. The women are like his mistresses and things like that. This is actually our Queen Elizabeth here. Jason says this space off of 4th Street in Fort Lauderdale felt like the perfect newest home. I liked the energy. I really looked all over Florida and I was looking for something particular, something that, and I felt it here. As for the food, it's tapas style, sharing plates for all. We start our tasting with a flaming saganaki with melted halloumi cheese with olive oil, oregano, and pita bread. Then it's yellowfin tuna ceviche with spicy citrus juice, avocado, mango, red onion, and cilantro. Every single part, all the textures and flavors and juices come together with very fresh tuna. I love this plate, I'm this bowl. Next shrimp and chorizo skewers sauteed with white wine, lemon, garlic, butter sauce. The shrimp is fresh and delicious, seasoned perfectly. The chorizo is just the amount of texture and bite that you want. That's why I love tapas, is because it's all about sharing. It's about the camaraderie with the people you're with. So much fun. We end on the petite rack of lamb with crusted pecans, Dijon mustard, and thyme. By the way, it's wonderful room temperature, still crunchy on the outside with that crust that I've never tasted before, moist on the inside. It was a really gourmet chop. Perfecting the art of tapas here, Jason, but tell everybody how many days you're open. We're open seven days a week, lunch and dinner, late night, and we have brunch on the weekends. Lots going on with a fantastic Taste of the Town here in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Lisa Petrillo. Cheers. CBS News, Miami.